The default workspace layout in Lightburn is designed to have the most commonly used tools and windows easily accessible. While this setup works great for most, it is fully customizable. This is useful for optimizing your workflow, personal preference, and fitting your screen's resolution. In this video, we will go through the different ways that you can customize the workspace layout and how to reset to defaults if you are not happy with a change. To start, clicking and dragging on the header of any window will undock it. This allows you to easily float any window, or you can redock it by dragging the window on top of an existing window. You can also dock windows on the left side. For this, drag the window to the left of the workspace until the workspace moves and the background changes color, then release to dock. Your screen's resolution will determine which locations you are able to dock windows to. Clicking and dragging on the side of a window will let you adjust its size. Note, each window does have a minimum size required. Stacking windows will create tabbed headers allowing you to switch between them. Any tab can be clicked and dragged to rearrange their order. By default, not all of Lightburn's windows are visible. Heading up to the Window drop-down menu, you can see all of the available window options. Clicking on a window name will toggle its visibility on or off. Toolbars can also be rearranged. Each section of the toolbar that has these wide dots is treated as a separate element. Clicking and sliding within a toolbar will stack the buttons into a submenu. Clicking and dragging will let you rearrange elements within a toolbar, move to a different toolbar, and even let you create a new toolbar location. If at any point you are not happy with your changes, you can reset to defaults by clicking Reset to Default Layout from the window menu. If you are running multiple monitors on your computer and a floating window seems to have disappeared, resetting will also fix this. You should now have a much better understanding of the different ways that you can customize Lightburn's workspace to fit your specific needs. Be sure to subscribe for more great videos on mastering Lightburn.